Hey everyone, welcome to this section on vector graphics. In the previous section, we discussed about add-ons. Here, we'll become familiar with 2D and 3D vector graphics in open frameworks. We'll start with basics of two-dimensional vector graphics, and then learn coordinate systems transformations for creating graphical hierarchies. Next, we'll consider creating animation using harmonic oscillations and Perl and noise. Finally, we'll become acquainted with 3D graphics. Now we move on to the first video of this section, which covers the basics of two-dimensional vector graphics with open frameworks. In this video, we're going to take a look at coordinate systems used in open frameworks, and then draw geometrical primitives, such as lines, rectangles, and circles. We'll also consider setting drawing attributes, such as color and line width. Next, we'll draw a polygon and a smooth curve. Finally, we'll learn to draw text using true type fonts. In this video, and most of other videos in this volume, we assume that you have a clean Open Frameworks project open in IDE. See the details on creating a new project in the previous sections. For now, let's run the empty project. We see a clean window. All this area is a drawing area for our project. To draw any object, we should specify the object's position. The principle for specifying the position is called coordinate system. It has an origin and axis. In a two-dimensional case, it's x-axis and y-axis. Having the origin and axis, it's possible to specify the position of any point by two numbers, x and y. They are called coordinates of the project. In open frameworks, the origin of the coordinate system is at the left top corner of the drawing area. X-axis is directed to the right. Y-axis is directed to the bottom. The coordinates are measured in pixels. Let's add the command which draws coordinates of the current mouse position on the screen. Add this to draw method definition of of app class. Here, mouse X, mouse Y are values holding current mouse coordinates. Of to string is a function which converts float number to the string. And of draw bit map string is a function which outputs string. Using system font at the specified position at the drawing area. Run the project to see the mouse coordinates. Now we're ready to draw geometric primitives. Function of draw line draws a line segment. This function gets four arguments, two coordinates of the starting point, and two coordinates of the ending point of the segment. Now run the project. We see the line segment connecting points with coordinates 100, 200, and 500, 300. Function of draw rectangle draws a rectangle. It gets coordinates of the top left corner and width and height of the triangle. Here it is. Function of draw triangle draws a triangle. It gets coordinates of the first, second, and third vertices of triangle. Function of draw circle draws a circle. It gets coordinates of the circle center and its radius. Running the project, we see all four primitives which we coded. Open Frameworks uses OpenGL library for drawing on the screen. Drawing commands are executed in a sequence they're called. So at first, our code will be executed, of draw bitmap string, then of draw line, and so on. We could change the attributes of the drawing, such as color and line width. Function of set color sets drawing color. It gets three integer numbers from 0 to 255, which specifies red, green, and blue components of the color. There's an optional fourth argument specifying alpha value, that is opaqueness. The color we set by of set color will be used for drawing, unless we call another of set color function. Now our figures are drawn using the color red, which we specified in of set color. Let's add another of set color call. We use another version of this function, which gets object of type of color. This way, we could specify colors by the names. For lines, we could specify its width using of set line width function. By default, the line width is one pixel. For figures, we could specify to draw them filled or unfilled. It's specified by functions of fill and of no fill. 
To draw a polygon, we can use the code such as the following. OF begin shape, starts the polygon, OF vertex, specifies the coordinates for the polygon's next vertex. OF end shape, finishes drawing the polygon and outputs it on the screen. True here marks that polygon is closed. That's the last vertex connected to the first vertex. Here it is. To draw smooth curves, we could use OF draw bezier function. This function draws cubic bezier curve. We specify coordinates of four points. The first and the last points are starting and ending points of the curve. The second and third points don't belong to the curve, but specify direction of the curve. Here's our smooth curve. The final thing we'll discuss in this video is drawing a text using true type font. Let's demonstrate by looking at Open Framework's example called Fonts Example, located in the graphics folder. First thing we need is the font file with extension TTF. These files can be found in the web. We should place the file into data folder of the project. What we see is two font files in the example. Second thing is declaring object of type OF true type font. Third thing is to load the font in setup method. Optionally, setting up the font's drawing properties. Last thing is drawing text using the font by calling font's draw string method. From there, specifying text and its coordinates. All right, let's run the project. Here's the text drawn by the font. In this video, we learned coordinate system of open frameworks and started to draw geometrical primitives, polygons, curves, and text.